I found out Sweden is host of one of the most beautiful bike trails in Europe an over 300 kilometers route that connects the west coast through the countryside. I also found out the worst biker to ride it. Me. Getting confident with the bike is something I've been wanting to add to my skills asset since I became a traveler. Now, I'll dare to try. So let's get going. Kattegat Sleden is Sweden's first national cycle path and the cycle route of the year in Europe in 2018. The path runs all the way through the region of Halland, connecting the city of Helsingborg in the south and the city of Gothenburg in the north. I got to borrow a bike 50 kilometers away from Gothenburg, in a beautiful village called Thrillesoas, where I will be starting my journey. I got lost and I have biked 17 kilometers and I just left the village. Once I got into the right path, my mindset changed. I committed to the task and I let myself get lost into my thoughts and the beautiful scenery that was in front of me. Reaching the city of Badberg and stopping for a nice coffee, I quickly got back on the road and continued biking since the sun seemed to cease its overwhelming heat until my body asked me to stop. The adrenaline of only going forward and not returning back home kept me motivated long enough to successfully finish my very first day on the journey. So I finally arrived to the camping after 86 kilometers biking. My ass and my wrist are so in pain. I'm burned everywhere. I'm 10 kilometers away from Falkenberg. So hopefully tomorrow I can do Falkenberg and Hamstad, which is around 65 kilometers more. So let's see what day two brings. I just started and I have to stop. Look at this. Wow. The reality these days is quite scary, and the idea of leaving your comfort zone has become even more difficult than before. I'm finally reaching the city of Falkenberg, and my feelings are still mixed up in between joy and fear. My brain is constantly generating questions I cannot answer, and only the surroundings make me disconnect from my thoughts. I mean, ain't this one idyllic city? Falkenberg is one of the prettiest places I have been in Sweden and it's home of one of the most popular beaches in the west coast, Skrea Beach. Unfortunately, the sun is raging and I need to speed up in order to reach my next destination before reaching the hottest time of the day. It's amazing! I didn't come prepared for neither heat or cold, 
and I'm paying the price while biking and sleeping. But if I have one skill, it's the capability of treating myself. So when I make a stop, I take it serious. So today is done. Second day. I've done a little bit less kilometers than yesterday because it was so hot. When it was windy, it was very nice. When it was not, it was hell. So, bling, that lesson learned. And uh, tomorrow I'll wake up very early. I should get going around six in the morning. My legs are holding up better than what I thought. The only problem is my butt. It hurts to death. Damn it. Let's go. Oh, Yuki. <laughs> As the morning went by and the nature welcomed me, I approached some of the most beautiful parts of the trip. After a quick stop in Hamsta due to the traffic and the construction work that made me lose track of the trail for a while, I got into the countryside again to find out kilometers and kilometers of forest and high trees. I haven't met anyone in an hour and a half. Which added to the sound of birds and the excellent weather made me realize I had put very little time into enjoying this adventure and far too much into making the route in less than a week. Sometimes we forget that the best part of the journey is the journey itself. So after five hours biking, I arrived in the beautiful coastal city of Postad, had a good snack and booked a very cheap Airbnb in order to leave my luggage and explore the area more relaxed. Today has been very nice. There's such a big difference when you bike early morning. And today I arrive in Boston around 11 o'clock. I think it's a good day to take care of myself, have a good night of sleep, treat myself, and enjoy the beach a little bit. So let me show you around my beautiful cottage. Is that a rock or a jellyfish? Or a rocky fish? <laughs> I need friends. One of the hardest parts is to take off the camera in front of the kids to try to vlog because I feel very embarrassed yet like I really need to get better at it hopefully in the future I look a little bit more natural when there is people around but as for now that's all I can do apparently the route that I am doing is very popular but I have just seen one couple doing the Kattegat sled and it kind of makes sense with all the coronavirus situation going on. I'm very happy I took the decision of uh, doing it. I'm being very cautious. I'm not getting close to people. I'm like cleaning my hands, cleaning myself. Anyway, we are done with day three. Let's see what tomorrow brings. This was 100% the most difficult part of the trip. 